What's up? Let me refresh. Make sure we are set. Uh, let me see. We're not ready yet. All right. We are good. What's up? Today is uh, December 5th, Wednesday, and we are live, which, yes, it has been a while. And uh, last week, I was a little sick, a little under the weather. My voice is still a little weird, but, um, you know, I'm a champ. We, you know, this the show must go on. So uh, you might hear dogs in the background. They're getting a little wild. B, what's up? Yo, what's up? It's been a while, like you said. Um, I don't know when was the last time we went live. Was it? Oh, uh, we were at eBay, right? That oh, was the last time. Yeah, that was the last time. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's been a while, but yes, good to be back. And like you said, it's December fifth. Man, twelve months has passed. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, 2018 coming to an end. Yep, that's wow. I don't, I don't know. What do you think about 2018? Did it go fast or slow? No, it went super quick. Super quick, huh? Yeah, man. So now 2019. I mean, everyone's gonna have some some good goals, uh, good reselling goals. We know. Well, today's episode is gonna be about November Ross Marshalls. We're gonna go through the full thing. We're gonna talk about all the stores. But for 2019, I know everyone's going to have some new goals and what's going on. Um, so I'm going to do some shout outs. And I want to ask everybody right now, how are your sales? All right. All right. Before what's we go there, before we go there, Brian the Oak Brook Baker. Yes. Everybody, let's congratulate Glenn for making it to the Money Magazine. Huge accomplishment, bro. For everybody that's watching, that's amazing. You know, um, uh, I've seen the uh, online copy, but I have yet to buy the physical magazine. So everybody go get a copy. Uh, yeah, make sure you bring it to any out hustled or um, get it signed or something like that. Because someday it's going to be worth a lot. So, you know, I'm just going to get it signed. And Glenn, you should just number everything. You just number 100 signatures, one out of 100. And then you bet you bet you like I'll probably buy 10 copies. I'm gonna sell five of them and retire off of it someday, but <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man, uh, congratulations, big ups to you. Um, you know, uh, even though it's not eBay related, uh, it's it's it, it is merch. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something that you've been working on for so long too. So uh, congratulations for sure. Appreciate that, sir. Kind of, the kind words. Um, it is pretty cool. Uh, went to the store, got some of the magazines. They asked me why I was buying so many. They're like, you're probably in here. That's why you're buying so many. Because <laughs> <laughs> no one buys that many of money magazines. Hey, well, did, did the Heather say the same thing? A 32-year-old? 30, uh, oh, yeah. Like my age. It said my age for everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, 32. <laughs> they couldn't get a better title. A 32-year-old <laughs> from, from, uh, from El Paso. <laughs> Just rat the crowd right off the bat. Yeah, from the dusty, windy Sun City. <laughs> You're like, where is El Paso? I uh, appreciate that. Thanks for the comments in the chat. Um, but yeah, if you want to check it out, Money Magazine. Um, it's like a red cover. You can see it for December. And then apparently, once it's done, it's done. They don't print any other, any other ones. So. Ooh, so it's limited, guys. <laughs> it's limited. Limited, make yeah. sure. Right. And it's a magazine, right? Dude, I think. I think within our era or within the time that we're alive, I think magazine was going to go away. So print is dying. Yeah. Print is dying. So this might be the last money magazine that I ever make. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you better find it, get all this and then keep it. Yes. Limited edition paper. True. It's going to go up. It's going to build up Not everybody knows about this. So you better get it early. Oh man, it's hilarious. Um, all right, let's see who's here. I know I saw Drummer. What's up? District Deals, Panna Rose, Zach's also here. Uh, Brian, Faith Lopez is here. Ron J, Paper Drew, Will, what's up? Uh, let's see, Justin Pac Man, Ron J, Matt Steez, Ruben, Salman, man, Zombies, what's up? Alfonso, Edgar, Debbie, good to see you too. Um, man, more people coming in. Stevie, what's up? Um, all right, Mountain Star Deals and Alfonso, what's up too? Yeah. So let's start off. Oh, so how was everyone's sales? That was our first question. Yeah. Doug the Pug, what's up? Uh, looks like, let me see, let me go back up. 
Um, we're going to explode 2019. Yes, we are. Uh, it doesn't look like we have a lot of comments on how. All right, let's start again. Now you can let me on the chat. How has Q4 been? How are sales? Now, um, right now, it has been pretty good. I think last month was really, really good. I did see good increase for Black Friday, Cyber Monday. Um, that was good. Lately, it's been okay. I, ha I have been getting rid of a lot of uh, stuff that haven't moved in a while. So that has helped me. Um, trying to get rid of like a, <laughs> what I yesterday sold size 13 and a half hardens. Oh, I remember that. <laughs> yeah. The white one? Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got it from Atlanta. Yeah. So I'm like, this is this is the uh, key season to let go of um, some sure. of the stuff to reinvest into yeah. other items for next year. Yeah, time. funny thing. I just sold one, like uh, some Ultra Boost baseball cleats. I don't. I, I think you've seen them. You found them on uh, D's discount. Remember that? Um, the colorful oh, yeah. one. Yeah. yeah, I sold one. It was size thirteen. That's what <laughs> I think. Yeah. I sold that. I sold a size thirteen messy cleats that I didn't have or it's missing, so we had to cancel the sale. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta let go of all those dookie, just clearing them out. People got money, you know. Uh, eventually, somebody will be looking for a size thirteen and a half basketball shoes. Yes, yeah, so yep. they're they're out there. They're out there. Uh, Zombri is good. Ron J sales are good. Uh, fire sales sales starting to pick up, uh, but fines are not good. So that's interesting. We're going to talk about that from Zombri sales have been okay. Uh, sales pretty good last month. Um, sales are great. Could be better. Um, for the people that are saying that um, they could be better, I guess the the thing would be how could you have made them better? And a lot of people that I've been talking to are saying, I guess my only thing that I would have wanted to do was list more and have more products mm. in my inventory um before like november came around good products <laughs> better products not not dookie products but good products yes um is what i've heard at least for the people that i've been talking to um through email as far as how they would wish they could improve so i guess the number one question is you can answer it one word what are you struggling with right now either sales or sourcing which one do you think you are struggling a little bit, you know, with more right now? Let me know in the chat. B, how are sales for you? Sales have, I'm out of red, almost out of red. So that's good. Uh, for some reason, November was a tough month for me. Um, it was, uh, my October was higher than my November. So that was very interesting. Um, you know, people in, uh, in LA, I mean, San Diego, Art Hustled saw my numbers and everything like that. But it wasn't as flashy as last year. So, you know, uh, just keeping it real. Um, I'm, like last year, I was doing like 24, 25, you know. I hit 30,000 last year. This Remember? year, this year, <laughs> I'm at 13. <laughs> so, uh, 13K for the month. Uh and you know, uh, I mean, we can talk more about it later, but it's definitely not eBay's fault, not the buyer's fault. It's a lot of it is the kind of inventory I have going into this season. So uh, that's something that we'll have to change definitely. Yeah. So I think um, going through the chat, uh, LA Thrifter Hunter, what's up? I know what to flip it, Jake. What's up? Um, a little mix between sourcing and uh, sales, but when me and Ken were talking about compared to last year. Yeah. Um, I don't see like eBay being a problem right now as far as like sales or um, pricing or the platform. Um, my main concern that I saw from difference between this year and last year, November, um, and kind of going into December are like the quality of items that were out there. Now, if you remember last year when we talked about a lot of this stuff, we had a lot, a lot of like higher end cleats um, that were out there at Burlington, Ross, even the Nike Outlet. And if you go um, this year, it seems like a lot of, I haven't even seen a lot of the cleats. Um, the last finds of the week, I did get like, you know, smaller ones from Burlington, but nothing like complete with box, higher end phantoms, things like that. I haven't really seen them. Um, you guys also might remember some of like the fly knit, untouchable fly knit, you know, uh, football cleats. Those were selling really, really good. Um, like almost like right before we got to October, November, 
uh, range. And so the quality of finds have been different this year. We've noticed Burlington really stocked up a lot on Adidas, mm -hmm. uh, probably more than I think I've, I've ever seen in a while. Um, so that has also changed Ross. Um, we've also seen, I think probably less of um, like Nikes and some of the higher end stuff. And we've seen more RBX and like, you know, the, the Adidas that we always see, EQTs, um, those, you know, lower end Pharrells, we've seen a lot of those. We've seen um, just things that aren't necessarily moving quite a bit, you know, compared to last year. And uh, this is what I like about uh, Instagram. You know, I was scrolling while you were talking and how, how I was, what, my, what was my post in November? And um, one weekend, I <laughs> did three thousand dollars one weekend and that's how much i packed in one weekend <laughs> that's crazy you yeah. know like i'm doing like 3600 for my whole week and then this post on november 27th was just a weekend you know 31 packages i'm like man you know like so so something's gotta give something's gotta change because last year you know, Hustle Me did kill it on Q4. But <laughs> I don't believe it's sa oversaturation. Of, I just believe that I had better items last year. And we're going to talk about the items. Now we're going to break down every store. Um, and Marshall's being another one. Marshall's had a lot of higher end cleats that were $20. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen a lot of those soccer cleats anymore. Um, and now when we go to Marshall's, the good thing is they have gotten some more shoes here and there. But we've seen like a lot of like LeBron 13s are still showing up. KD yeah. are still showing up. Um, some of the lower end pennies are still showing up. That's the kind of stuff that, um, I mean, they can't even move at $59.99, some at $79.99. How are you going to move that um, on eBay or any other platforms? That's going to be tough mm -hmm. um, compared to some of last year's items. When you look at like Kobe 11s or Kobe 9s, Kobe 10s, it's a huge difference. Caroline, what's up? Good to see you too. Um, all right, let me see. Go back on here. All right, so let's go to the first store. Um, let me know in the chat because we mentioned the store, but I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I haven't even been through this store in a long time. DD's discount. <laughs> <laughs> we mentioned it. I haven't gone in a while. Let me know in the chat if I'm missing something, but <laughs> um, after I think I had kind of like that major ultra boost, ultra boost uh, nice. I hadn't really seen anything in a while. Um, I think at one point they did have a, like a, those Chris Webbers or um, some other Nikes here and there. But um, we have one kind of near my house that is, I don't even know if they even restock. It's like the same one every time I've been going every week. And I'm like, man, this is this is rough. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen anything DD discounts. I feel like DD's discount just gets the rejects from Ross. So if Ross <laughs> is not getting anything, DD's discount is just getting trash. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So DD's is whack. Uh, hella whack. <laughs> Don't even include that store. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, let's go to the next one. Marshalls slash TJ Maxx. Um, we'll start off with TJ Maxx. So they did add... Um, shoes back to the men's section yes. uh, we have two tj maxx in my area <laughs> one of them <laughs> they added uh lebron 14 lows they added um jordan spizikes <laughs> they they were 59.99 they were red and they added um penny i think the orlando colorway and i think those were also 59 and uh, that was it. They had, it seemed like a smaller section than last year. Um, and I remember last year, TJ Maxx, I did pick up Kobe's during that time. Um, yeah, I did too. Stuff. Yeah. Oh, I found some Kobe 11s. I found like the all black Kobe's. I found like the, uh, what is that? The, the, the blue and gray colorway. I found the glows. Was that, was that the glows? Like the, the glow in the dark Kobe's? Oh, yeah. The Kobe 11s, man, Kobe 11s were so good last year. Um, yeah, so my TJ Maxx, I just went yes last night, and then I got size 13 and a half, Damian Lillard's size 14. <laughs> so, just giant. And, no, I actually have a smaller size, but it was men's size 5. 
So it's either like so small or like giant. And the funny thing is, like, they still have like size 15 football cleats left over. I'm like, oh, come on, God. Like, are you not like getting it? Are you not getting it? Like, the people don't want this. So, like, stop selling, you know, stop, <laughs> you know, putting this out. So, um, uh, yeah, it was a lot of Adidas and then the, the, the Under Armour. They're not even Curtis. So, they're not worth anything. Yes, uh, Jim, uh, Crazy Explosives, a bunch of them, but they're like $59.99. So, uh, dirty school clothes, Palm Beach loafers, TJ Maxx twenty nine. Sold a couple on eBay for three hundred plus. Oh, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> what are those? So there we go. All right, um, making me, making big money on some other uh, outside. Um, let me Google that real quick. Stuff. Yeah, so there we go. You can look that up. Um, I looked at women's section. Haven't really seen anything left um, from there. Going there for TJ Maxx. Um, what about video games? So video games, I haven't seen at TJ Maxx, but I did see at Marshall. So um that's pretty much it for tj maxx i didn't really notice anything else i guess what i could say for both though is uh with toys r us being gone um all stores that we're talking about are going heavy on toys yes burlington marshall's and tj maxx all of them toys all over the place and um i mean some people are profiting pretty good money on fba or they're watching the market seeing if you know things tank or not that's a totally different game um, if you are approved to sell certain toys, uh, these stores do have a lot way more than they did like probably the previous, you know, three to three to four years. Um, so let's go to Marshall's Marshall's right now. We're talking about the toys. Yes, they have gotten some video games. I've seen some older, I think they had like Madden 18. Um, they had, you know, a lot of like last year's type of video games. They have like this dad section pretty much in the men's section where it's like, gifts to give dad and it's like godfather board game and madden uh 17 or 18 or i don't know but it's like certain section there so they have a lot um when it comes to shoes we have um definitely a lot of those pennies those zoom pennies um one of my one of my stores has at least 30 pairs of those um, what? yeah it was, it was crazy i was like i was like what that's going on here um presto flies i've seen some of the other regular prestos um the black ones they had only size 14 left um i've seen lebron 13s the all stars um trying to think what else i've seen lately uh air max ones i think but nothing really too crazy when it comes to the, some of the marshall spines even for for kids nothing really going that crazy right now yeah um, Marshall's in my area is doing clearance. Hopefully they restock. Uh, I feel like pretzels are losing steam. Um, overpriced Air Max 2016s. Um, Monopoly Wood Edition. I remember that one last year, and those do sell really good. Yeah, you want to wait till they go down on clearance, um, but they are extremely they heavy. They expensive, right? Yeah, they're, they're like pretty pricey. 70 bucks? Yeah. But yeah, I found some uh, last year. I I found a Monopoly Deluxe, so I think it was the glass one. You know, mm -hmm. uh, it was very heavy, and I didn't even get to list them, so I just returned it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this was um, when was this? Oh, so this was when we went to was it San Diego or which one did we go to? Um, this was one of the Rosses. Um, I guess this is right before the Christmas mayhem. Yeah. Oh. I don't think I've ever seen this before. Wow. Completely empty. <laughs> but if you go now, it's completely changed. Of course, Ross is now have like complete with toys, complete with um kid shoes and everywhere. And kid shoes have also been kind of dry. Just a random photo just came up and I was like, I forgot to show that one. All right, let me go back. <laughs> um we talk about Marshalls. Anything else, Marshalls, you want to throw in? Um I mean, we went, even in San Diego, we went, you know, and we just didn't find anything. I mean, I really think the last good Marshall find that we got was, like, the Under Armour Rock hoodies. That was the last of it. Oh, yeah. That was the last of it. I mean, I mean, you found some Kobe's, but. Yeah, so I did get a really good um, haul video. I am, I just finished editing that, so I think tomorrow I should have it out. You guys can check that uh, Marshall's video out. All right, let's go to uh, Burlington. Burlington right now, um, 
<laughs> yes, prepare yourselves. Lines are long. Um, I did see you guys saw the uh, Phantoms on the Finds of the Week. You guys saw the uh, Temple Legends Finds of the Week, but they are kind of smaller in size. I think seven, seven and a half. Um, pretty much the only cleats I've been able to find lately. Um, people that have been sending me messages and uh, emails have found uh, one-off cleats here and there, but nothing in like bulk sizes that you'd yeah. be able to get, you know, two size nine and then three size 10 and then, um, you know, three size eight and a half, like nothing like that, just kind of one-offs here and there. Yeah, they're usually smaller. Uh, I found some Opus, Magista Opus, but they're like size 13, so I didn't even. I didn't even bother. <laughs> uh, some people have been finding Air Max 97s, I think, in the women's. I have not found them yet. I've been on the on the prowl. Um, nothing. Was it? What? what? Yeah, we found. I, I actually found one of the Air Max. Oh, not Air Max 97. I think I it was Air Max 27 too. Oh, okay. Uh, also, Burlington, um, a lot of the Adidas, like, winter jackets. So if you go to the clothing section, I've seen way more Adidas gear than I think I've ever found, ever. And also a lot of uh, soccer jerseys. So, I mean, if you're into that for the collection, I think it's good. If you're looking to resell, some of the jerseys are still pretty high. Yeah, 39 99 right? Yeah, 39 I think one of them was even 49 yeah. Um, So yeah. that's, that's tough. Um, I guess it depends on what kind of... I guess if it's like an elite jersey or something that's maybe yeah. Going paper, higher, yeah. But. paper Drew said Burlington's horrible. He said Levi's feel on Timberland. I don't know where you're located at Paper Drew, but up here in East Coast it's winter time in Cincinnati. So all I see is Timberlands and you know just just I'm tired, 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 tired as Rock would say it. <laughs> I mean <laughs> well Chris Rock would say it. There's nothing but uh, I guess in your winter, I mean winter gear, but in my area it's hot, so we don't really. Yeah, you don't change. Yeah, so like I mean, I remember last year we went to uh, Chicago and man, <laughs> it was one of the tough. I mean, it's the toughest I've hustled because like there was just no, you know, athletic footwear. It was all like North Face boots, Under Armour like boots and. They were like so pricey, seventy nine, ninety nine, and man, it's it's tough. But yeah, Burlington is like that too. Uh, been getting, and a lot of them are like the RBX, you know, RBX, the Levi's, the knockoffs, and then Skechers. the good. You see more Skechers. Sketch. Well, the good, the good Timberlands too. We get them like the premium ones, but they're like ninety nine dollars. So couldn't even flip them. Yeah, that's tough. Um, that's pretty much it, at least for Burlington. At least in my area, it hasn't been that great, but I do feel like it has a little bit more potential than uh, Marshalls right now. So um, if you want to talk stocks, I feel like Marshalls and TJ Maxx are just kind of here. I feel like Burlington has a slight increase. Um, but for the most part, you're kind of going to be depending on Nike Outlet and Ross, which are our last two. So Nike Outlet... Before we get into these, let's talk about. Oh, what? this guy have one already. <laughs> wow. All right. Before we get into that, let's talk about Black Friday. Uh, Black Friday, forty percent off the entire store. Let me know in the chat. Was it worth it in your area to stand in line in the cold, wait in line for hours? Did you leave with twenty pairs? 100 pairs, 200 pairs, let me know in the chat. How was your Black Friday if you did go to Nike Outlet? Uh, Zombri's success. Um, William says no. Um, B, how was it for you? It was success. I was able to uh, scoop 113 pairs. But this was going to different stores. <laughs> yes. This was not going can, you tell, can you tell people? Can you tell people how crazy I did it? <laughs> um, so, so th when was, yeah, Thursday, I traveled to Pleasant Prairie, Wisconsin. So pretty much the border of Illinois and Wisconsin. And then I started there and then drove back to Ohio. So I went there. Uh, total, I went to 13 Nike outlets. What? <laughs> 13. 
uh, over a thousand miles driving. Um, and well, the good thing is with the Black Friday that we're getting now is um, they usually open at 6 p.m. or 8 p.m. Thursday night, right? And they don't close until Friday evening. Mm. So it's what, like a 36-hour window of you just hitting all those stores. So I did that. Um, but again, it wasn't like last year. Last year was, you know, like I didn't pick up a lot of pairs, but it was all high-end items, high-end soccer cleats. This time, it was a lot of, I would say, like bread and butter items, you know, uh, some Kyrie's, uh, some Kobe ADs, um, I bought uh, some Zoom flies, you know. So they're not like the, you know, like the hundred dollar ASP that we'd like to get. But yeah, I mean, overall it was a success. But man, it it took me down for like a full day for sure because it, it had, you know, it was a lot of work, a lot of leg work. <laughs> Yeah, especially going to all those stores. At least it's good you have some, like, you know, variation. At my one store, <laughs> um, I went, and it was uh, pretty packed. And, um, you know, going through them, there was some finds that um, I think one of them I would probably say would be, like, the Kobe um, DeRozan ADs that uh, I think every outlet probably had of those. And um, they were going for really, really cheap, um, but there wasn't really a huge market for them. And I was just like, I don't know. I really don't see them, you know, moving that quick, especially with how many people have that same shoe on sale with the 40% off. Um, I know uh, talking about the the Carmelos. So the Carmelos have been in every outlet that we've gone to, at least recently. Um, There have been a lot of them so far. And um, I don't know. I think the outlet is probably just going to get more. Like I, I don't see them running out. And so there's, I think I saw a photo of like half the rack filled with Carmelos. And usually it's just one. And then this one had like three sections of Carmelos. I'm like, man, like now I want to hoop on them. You know, like I want to buy them for like what. 60 80 bucks you know with mvp and just kind of like trash them <laughs> customize i mean like i mean they're the hustle be color way so <laughs> like the least you can do yeah. <laughs> um are you buying 11 concords i heard they were making a lot of them this time yes buy them uh, you know how concords are though even though they are making a lot of them you know people are still gonna struggle to get them somehow yeah, um, everybody's gonna be trying to get them Come on now. Don't tell me nobody's buying this. <laughs> Have you already worn them? I've fitted them. I've modeled them. I've modeled them. But yes, it's still icy. But man, this one, I think they did really good. They did good. Uh, patent leather, very high in the inside, mm-hmm. the outside, uh, like very OG looking shape. Uh, you know, but yeah, it's 45, but whatever, you know. <laughs> uh that really kind of like peels out really um the only thing that could have made it better was a stitch 23 but besides that this one's very og uh looking it's got a nike air inside and they came with uh i i think this was this a 2000 box oh one um i think this was like the older box yeah yeah and um, I like it this way because the slide out was just a pain to remove. This was just a lot easier. But retail though, two twenty. Yeah, that's. Uh, it's very steep. Two twenty. Yeah, two twenty. So I think right now, um, the market really what's happening is that I think everyone's just kind of waiting to see if they can get it in their area. Usually, people start to panic when. Uh, yeah, that yeah, day you can get them. So yeah, that day, and then like I think this could be like three hundred fifty dollars shoe come, come holiday season. So I'm still trying to get them, uh, you know, with the Nike, uh, the Foot Locker apps and stuff like that. Um, but man, this is just clean pair. But yeah, I think I mean, good shoe. I mean, like they haven't they haven't released them since what two thousand was was eleven the last one. Mm, I have those. I don't even remember when it was. 
Man, let me look at that. <laughs> I have the old one. Let me see. So I think, oh, what are we talking about? Oh, yeah, we're going back to uh, the Nike outlet. So 2011 was the last fair. Oh, okay. There we go. 2011. Um, oh, so Nike outlet. So, yes, we talked about um, Black Friday. Some people had really good Black Friday. Some people didn't. Um, and there was some hit or misses there. I only got like a couple of pairs um, wasn't anything too awesome. I think there was some good clearance sales days leading up to it. Um, so I did buy way more during that time than uh, the Black Friday time. So that helped a little bit. So now we are in MVP time. And uh, <laughs> when uh, me and Ken talked about this, it's like it did. I knew it was going to happen. I didn't know when. I guess as far as it was going to come this quickly as far as having this MVP pass already. But um, you can get them now until the 23rd. Yeah. So you have about three weeks or so, uh, less, to get as many cards as possible. You can redeem the 3rd through 27th of next month. And uh, I did notice that it did seem a little bit difficult um, this time as far as, like, you know, what's happening as far as sales go. They did sell a lot during Black Friday. Hopefully get some better restocks and better shoes coming in. Um, but uh, on our workshop, we did talk about different things on how uh, you can get more of these cards. Um, so you have to use some of these strategies out there. And I think... Um, this is probably your best opportunity to try to build your inventory going into next year and using a lot of these MVP passes, getting your 50 off. Even if you wanted to use them for uh, mellows and you're getting them down to 70 bucks, I guess it could be good, but I would definitely look for some other items out there. Yeah. I mean, that that's the biggest thing is like just really waiting for the restock, you know, from from Nike because it's they've been they've been pretty low and you know like a lot of dookie still out there like i was just telling glenn i'm not seeing the retros because i guess they got so much of those mellows so i think they're not selling the other retros because they want the mellows out yeah that is true too and i think that um let me see. Caroline says, why are they doing MVP on low inventory after Black Friday? So personally, I think the reason is why they're doing this now um, is because it's the I mean, it's the time of the season that they know they're going to get the most sales and they can encourage people to spend the extra amount of money so that you get the card. So let's say you're in store, you're buying gifts. Hey, you only need twenty dollars more. Right. You get a fifty dollar pass, you know, for next month. Oh, OK. Let me go see what else there is. Let me go add that on there for, you know, the non resellers. And so they want to force that in. People are spending more money. Now's the time. So that's why they have it now. But next month, they also know that uh, <laughs> it's usually the driest part because it's, it's January. It's after Christmas. A lot of people either are going to use gift cards or they're going to be broke. So they're one or the other. <laughs> During this time, they might want to use these and try to just spend extra money if they have it or not. So January usually is the slowest time when it comes to like making those type of sales. But November, December, this should be on fire. Yeah. Um, so Gritty Girl Boss is talking about Los. So yes, um, our boy Los. Um, if you if you see him on IG, yes, he is uh, going to get throat surgery soon. Um, that's already what two weeks or so. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I think one of his friends put uh, put a GoFundMe. Um, so if you want to help out and donate, I donated. You can see me on there. Not my face or nothing. I should probably put that. I'll Photoshop my face on there. But hey, Los, my boy. But I've been texting him. He's in good spirits. He's uh, um, kind of nervous and stuff, but he's, you know, he's staying positive, you know, after I've been talking to him. So I want to help him out. Gritty Girl Boss has the, uh, the link there. Link out there. Uh, let's go to Ross. So with Ross, we have a couple of things. We talked about the toys, but let's talk about uh, Nike jackets and um, winter gear. So if you noticed, um, <laughs> a lot of the winter gear, I saw a, you guys will see it on Friday though, because I did all the edits, but 
Destroyer jacket, 500 retail. Um, I've also seen some. You found them? At Ross, yeah. Some other thicker Nike heavier jackets, super high retail. So 500, uh, 250, 350. Um, and Ross are selling these like 79, 99, 149. So Nine. yeah, they want they want they want some big money right now with Ross. Um and the reason why is I mean they're going through with the uh you know retail costs and they're uh really trying to make big money on those. So I think for a lot of these items you're really going to have to wait until they go on clearance cuz you know no one's I mean no one's going to buy them for 150. The no. retailers aren't going to buy them, even the people that want to wear them aren't going to buy it for that much. Man, so yeah. Wait. They're gonna go down, especially after yeah. clearance. They'll go to clearance. I mean, after Christmas, they'll go to clearance. Best yeah, thing. the uh, the the Ross Nike. I mean, the Nike Destroyer bomber jacket. It's my favorite jacket. So, um, is it all black? No, all black again. Mm -hmm. Same. Mm -hmm. Oh man, I want I want the different colorway, but yeah, I did keep I did keep one for myself. I found him <laughs> at Marshalls last year. Oh, but, yeah. Yeah. With a winner out here, yeah, you need some destroyed that jacket for sure. Uh, saw a thirteen hundred dollar UGG jacket for three seventy five. That's some district deals. Wow, UGG. <laughs> you know, I didn't even know they make jackets. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, Aeroloft Parker jacket at Burlington. So, I mean, Burlington has been getting them too, but I've seen way more um, at Ross um, Under Armour Gore Tex gear. So, yes, a lot of the Under Armour stuff as well. Um, we're also going to talk about, um, I guess, for shoe wise, I have seen PG twos. What? They, uh, yeah, they've been coming out of nowhere. Ross, How much? they were uh, forty four ninety nine. Oh. They were uh, like the like pure Nike platform. outlet prices, though. Yeah, that's true. I mean, it's almost Nike outlet price for uh, without box. Um, forty five bucks. It's kind of up to you. I mean, it is. Uh, I mean, at the most, they're probably selling for like 79 range or something when I did the research. But um, for the most part, they're selling at like 59. So um, maybe for the collection, if you want to pick those up, cool. Uh, 4499 PG2s. People have been finding NMDs now showing up at Ross, which the same thing, very similar to like a, uh, I guess, an outlet price because at the outlets, NMDs have gone down a lot. If you've gone into the Adidas outlet, um, they had like different promotions now, 30% off, 40% off and, um, complete with box. So NMDs have really changed, um, just Adidas in general. I mean, now they're retroing the ultra boost. Yeah. 1.0. Um, <laughs> yeah. The 1.0. So they're trying to go back a little bit, but, um, NMDs EQTs have kind of fallen, um, throughout the years. Um, we are going to talk about Des Bryant jerseys after we talk about the shoes, um, anything else? A lot of the cleats have seen way more untouchables coming back. Yeah. <laughs> untouchable pros. Mm -hmm. the lower end, not even yeah. the boots, huh? Yeah. I've seen a lot of um a lot of these like uh savage pros or uh the the big or whatever they are. I've seen <laughs> um a lot of them. And someone had sent me an email and they were like, you know, I'm I'm interested in you know, the Ross game and I've been learning and everything. And they asked me, what do you think about some of these clearance cleats that are down to $8, $10, $12 and their size. <laughs> Giant arm. 15, 16. Would you pick them up? Now I told them my personal experience. No. Why? Because they're going to be really tough to move over time. But my uh, business model and mindset is not the same as everybody else. Now, someone else, maybe you have more capital to use. Maybe you have the patience. Maybe you have the storage and you want to keep them and you want to uh, stack them up and have them for next year. And you don't mind also the bigger sizes that come with it or the random colorways that come with it. Mm -hmm. Then go ahead. Um, but everyone's different. Totally up to you, but yeah. if you're asking me what I would do, I would leave them. So I mean, I guess what everybody's trying to ask you is like, is there money to be made? And well, there's there money to be made in everything when you look at it. But they're all, I mean, like without those fines, I mean, like 
you know, like we, everybody's, I mean, I've started in those like ginormous cleats and stuff like that, you know, uh, you know, like they're, they're on a good size, you know, like the untouchable TDs would sell for like 150, but on a size 14 or 15, I, I was sell. I mean, I'd sell them for like 60 to 80 bucks, but you know, like, but you're picking it up for 20. So there is still money to be made, but like Glenn said, you just got to be more patient and just have to consider your capital and consider your, you know, your space because that's, you know, the bigger ones are just, you know, heavy and then bulky. Very true. Um, before we continue, we had like over 120, almost 130 watcher or viewers. Just a little thumbs up. That's all I ask. Just a little thumbs up. That helps out a little bit. Um, so before we're going to continue, though, let's talk about Des Bryant jerseys. So it's probably the most questions I've gotten in a while when it comes to this. Um, I know that um, I have picked them up in the past. I still have some. I've also sold quite a bit of them. Um, so it's like kind of like a little mix. Would I still pick them up? Answer is yes. But which ones? So right now, Des Bryant jerseys, I've seen all three kinds. We have the game, which is considered to be replica, which is screen printed. Um, they have the limited, which is sewn. I think it's like 150 retail. And it's equivalent to like a Nike Swingman jersey, if you were to buy the basketball ones. It's like they're sewn, but they're not the authentics that people that they wear on yeah, the, or the elite. So, yeah. So now they have the elites. Which are two ninety five retail. Some are three twenty five. If it was the last year one, which is the vapor one, um, I think we talked about this in one of the older videos too. Because I got them at Burlington, but now Ross is getting like a flood of Des Bryant jerseys. And doesn't matter if you live in Texas, doesn't matter where you live, they're shipping them everywhere. Mm -hmm. And I think the prices nine ninety nine, fourteen ninety nine, and um, I've seen people just picking up all of them, no matter what. I mean, that's totally up to you, but I wouldn't pick up all of them um yeah. i would only touch the elite one there's some dirty school. i mean like for me i've never been the always i've never been the jersey guy but for me as long as the player is still playing in the same team and it's an elite i would i would buy it you know um like the ones we found the andrew lux you know uh elites um because it doesn't matter how expensive it is. Like, remember we picked up uh, Arian Foster mm -hmm. way back, and I literally just sold it like three weeks ago or two weeks ago. I sold it for like, I still sold it for a hundred bucks, but but we paid what nine ninety nine for that. But he doesn't play for the team already, so yeah. Um, for me, you know, like even the limiteds, you know, they're. I mean, we bought a bunch of you know Andy Dalton, the Bengals limited ones uh we still you know doubled our money from it but they were just a little I mean a little bit slow seller so for me my take on jerseys like i'd, I'd really go for like the higher retail like the elites the 295 325 those ones are uh as well as like oh somebody said arian foster is a rapper now i don't even know <laughs> he retired but i know he was uh that's probably why somebody bought it for 100 bucks <laughs> Let me go to, um, I was going to show you guys an example. Let me see if I can get this loaded. Uh, let me see. Okay. So let me go back on here because we need to show some examples. Share and application window. Okay. Uh, let me know if you can see it. Are we good? Can you see? Yep. Okay. So let's go back. Let's talk about the Des Bryant one right now. Um, so Des Bryant limited jersey which this is i guess we can go back we can do um i guess we can put game but i don't know if they're gonna list it under that okay so this is like the uh screen printed one which um nothing is sewn you can see it there and i mean nothing's sewn they're screen printed um letters and numbers so in this case they're selling it for 29 bucks these are the ones that you can find at ross 9.99 Totally up to you if you want to pick them up. They are going to take a while to move. We have 300 results. Now we go to limited, whoa, limited um, what? 19 results. Um, so these are, like I talked about, equivalent to the uh, Swingman jerseys to where they are sewn, but they are not, you know, like the uh, on-field 
So you know it's limited. You can see the tag right here. Uh, limited Des 150 uh, retail. So um, we have that one. And then, but not all limiteds are worth passing. Now, I know some people in California, I think someone had talked about Kobe jerseys. We did see the Kobe jerseys were in San Diego um, at the Nike outlet. You can see that video. Um, but I was, people have been finding like the Joe Montana ones. Um, other, you know, retired like 49ers. And that's the case. This is limited. This is sewn. And they are cheap, you know, for 20 or 29, 39. Wow. Definitely you're going to want to pick up something like this. I mean, this is a, a player that you know people are going to want. Totally what different. About, what about Kaepernick? Uh, you want to see what Kaepernick's? Let me see. Yeah. It's going to be it's worth a lot of money now. <laughs> Three hundred twenty-nine results. Wow. Well, I have a lot of pre-owns you can get for cheap. Oh, for sure. new. I guess new. You could. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Ninety-nine. Uh, click men's. Let's see. And then click. Yeah. See, only forty-six. Huh? Elite. Yeah. Elite. Uh, Eighty-seven. I haven't checked Kaepernick jerseys in a while. Probably because I just haven't seen any of them. 87, brand new. Uh, 149. There we go. There's a Super Bowl one. 90. Um, people have been still finding Kaepernick's in yeah. there. I haven't yeah. seen them. And uh, anybody in California, I mean, a few people found them there. Yeah. That 125. Oh, my gosh, Glenn. <laughs> And let's talk about the Des Bryant Elite. So the Elite is um, the fully sewn closest to what they wear on field. Now, in this case, they're selling it for $170. Wow. Um, and let me see. The uh, retail should tell you. There we go. $325. So this is uh, considered to be, I think, the Vapor Elite. Because that one was last year. Yeah. Vapor Elite. We know this because of the emblem is uh, like this metallic cool looking things <laughs> so there we go in case you wanted to uh educate yourself a little bit on some of the football jerseys man that's I, re I really think is it is it really that flooded how many listings were there on the elite um elite 116 results oh, and see. limited was 619 so how much are the elites going for like 20 bucks um, they're at Ross for fourteen ninety nine. Oh man, I still pick them up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why, but I mean, he wasn't a bad player, and this is the perfect scenario, right? Once he healed up and everything like that, he comes back to the Cowboys and retires there. Oh, didn't think it happened. Oh, but as of right now, he tried with the Saints and he <laughs> got hurt, and um, he's trying to rebuild himself. And um, I don't know if or when he's going to come back or if he's done or what's going to happen. That's all I mean, like, I've like, heard. I'm just looking at it like if you're a Cowboys fan, you know, a number 88 jersey still looks cool. You know, it's not like a random 67 number, you know, like 88, you know, like the, they look cool for me. They look cool. So I, I would I would pick them up. <laughs> and, I don't know. I'd, I'd pick them up and I'd probably storage them or something like that. And I think it's just a cool, you know, and it's not like he has a weird last name. It's Bryant, you know. So, a weird yeah. last name. Yeah. There's a yeah. of them of the elites that I've sold between 90 to 120 range. So, yeah, that's still good money, man. Yeah. 88 Michael Irvin, I know. And I tried to, uh, <laughs> One of my test ones, I tried to like take the letters off to see what I could do, and then I took it somewhere to see what they could do. Um, yeah, they couldn't do it. <laughs> the, the elites were like way too difficult to try to like I to buy like a full nameplate and then put. I think, yeah, I think that them. would be it, right? Like the square thing. Yeah. To buy a bunch of those and then like put it back, but I mean. Well, I mean, I'm sure people just are not going to sell the original nameplate in the back. Cause... It's tough, too, because you have to make sure that it also, that the color matches. I mean, uh -oh. if the nameplate is like an off-white and then your jersey is yeah. white, 
It's yeah. just gonna look weird putting I mean, I like the blue one. The blue one would be easier to match. Yeah, that one might be a little bit easier. So it's kind of a random random. <laughs> there's, All right. a, there's the G Customs 41 coming out for you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tried it, didn't happen. Uh, so that's it for kind of the end of uh, the store reviews for November and at least what's kind of going on right now. Um, for next month, we're starting a whole new year. I don't know. I mean, this is where we kind of go through our mini dry spell and the stores need to rebuild. Usually late February, middle March, you know, Ross is back in action. But man, after Christmas, they get hit sick. They're trying to rebuild. And uh, so be prepared. If you don't have the inventory, try to stock up what you can now and you're ready for after Christmas and you still want to make sales, keeping that going um, because these stores are going to get hot, hit hard in the next couple of weeks. Um, so that's going to be tough. Um, anything else you want to throw in? Um, well, I was, I was automatically going to say like, hey, next El Hustle will be, uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, a nice break. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, this will be kind of like a weird break. I mean, December. I don't. We don't have any traveling schedule. So man, after like what? Since August of 2017, we're not traveling for a full month. <laughs> I know this is gonna be. Yeah, this is kind of weird. They're not going anywhere. Not sourcing anywhere. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is gonna be. Yeah. No <laughs> hotel rooms for the month. No. No rental cars, so no Korean barbecue, but you probably can make that happen. Um, <laughs> uh, and yes, dirty school clothes. I already looked it up. The Giorgio's of Palm Beach. It's already in here. I'm going to be hunting for them. There we go. Jam asked, uh, would you guys recommend making your selling account into a store once you have over 100 items listed? If you have plans on making it a business, get a store, a ASAP. Yeah, I think, that, I think over a hundred is probably the good amount. Um, yeah, because that will push you to use your to use all the uh, what do you call that? The listing uh, allowed listing. You know, mm -hmm. so once I reached a hundred, I went and registered for a premium store right away, so that it challenged me to get to a thousand. So uh, always challenge. Uh, do the stores do, let's see, the stores do inventory at the first of the year also, so they don't order a lot of inventory until that is done. Um, that's from Michelle. Um, so Palm Beach is next for Out Hustled? <laughs> wow, well, I've been working out, so. Uh, Bradley, anybody flipping the PlayStation sweaters from Marshalls and TJ Maxx? I actually got them for the personal collection. Yeah. Um, I did look them up, though, and um, they they're not selling bad. Dude, wow. did you get the Nike PlayStation hoodies? No, I wish. Why? Did they sell out? I don't even I don't even know they even had some other ones. I was looking at the older one. The first time they came out, um, like the backpack and all of oh, that. They're impossible, no, they're impossible to find. Yeah. They came out with one. Oh, like a newer one? Yeah, it oh, came I didn't out. Up the newer one. I thought you meant the older one. No, Nike PlayStation. Uh yeah, they just came out. Uh with uh with uh with uh, the shoe and everybody and everybody was going after the hoodie because the shoe was kind of over overproduced oh here we go yeah hoodie's pretty cool very cool yeah it really like matches the first playstation one i mean the the yeah, PG number, one. yeah the first the first shoe huh there we shoe. go you get one That's um it. yeah i need to get one of these That's some of them are going pretty cheap 99 best offer yeah <laughs> maybe for christmas <laughs> yeah. uh, anything else in the chat any other questions random stuff things you want to say things you're uh things you love or hate about ross marshall's <laughs> things you love or hate about ebay <laughs> anything else you want to throw out there um tomorrow should be a good video friday finds of the week and um i think me and b will probably do like a a year in review type of thing. Maybe I'll yeah. make a little video or something to uh, all the out hustleds, all Man, of the workshops. That's going to make us cry. Don't do it. <laughs> Everything um, combined 
for 2018 before we start a new year. And um, I talked about this too, also on the podcast with Young, is that, um, you know, I'm not going to be working at the family business anymore. And uh, so that's, so next month I will have more time for uh, YouTube and for uh, merch and things like that. So I am excited. That's going to really give me an extra, almost like 20 hours a week to really work on other things. So um, the channel has been maintained, I think, but I haven't done anything new, anything exciting, anything cool for a while. And I owe it to you guys to uh, really bring uh, my game up for 2019 because uh, it's only been maintained for me uh, doing, you know, business and everything else that I've been doing as far as growing inventory, but the channel, you know, must continue and grow. So I have some new ideas and we won't be uh, so routine like like it has been. So um, anything else? I think we're done? That's pretty much it. And again, during this holiday season and MVP pass, still don't buy Dookie. Please don't buy Dookie. Yeah, actually trying to get rid of your Dookie during this time. Yes. Um, is reselling your main job? Yes, it's reselling with Merch by Amazon and the YouTube are my main things. Um, those Jordan Band are selling higher price now, so you don't have your uh, price higher. So between going 170 to 200. Um, there we go. That's from uh, Dirty School Clothes. Um, let me see. How many active listings? That's a good question. Um, how many do I have? Let me check. <laughs> I think I have like 200 something. Yeah, mine went down. Let me see. I have, yes. Oh, my gosh. This is a horrible number. 666 listing. <laughs> tonight or somebody buy something. I have 250 results, but quantity is 356. So there's my eBay numbers if you want to know that. Um, do a sourcing trip to Canada. Oh, that could be very possible. Glenn needs to get his passport. Oh, yeah, that's what might take a while. <laughs> um, I don't feel like going to college and instead working as a reseller. What's your advice? Yeah, don't go to college. <laughs> <laughs> uh, here, here, all right? I think coming from me, I went to college. I mean, it took me, what, took me eight years to finish a bachelor's degree because I wasn't really into it. I just did it for, you know, my parents, and my parents paid for it, so I didn't have any student loans. Or student debt, student loan. So, if you're going through it and we're gonna be racking a lot of student loans, I would highly advise against it. <laughs> or get a job. You know, uh, I know Carlos. Uh, his work, his part-time job pays for his uh, tuition. So find a job that will put you to school. Um, I don't think it's worth it to rack up that much student loan debt and and you know graduate and still have to worry about that once you're done uh i don't think it's student loan debt is just not a good idea unless you want to be like a you know a neurosurgeon or something like that that you could pay it up in like what two or three years once you're practicing but um if you have the if you have the hustle if you have the hard work i'd say go all in on something that you're passionate about since the one i mean because you, you're still young uh, if, if if you find out that you don't like what you're doing, if you don't like reselling, then go to school, pursue, you know, pursue uh, education if, if that's the thing. Because it would be sad if you rack up all this debt and then you graduate and you just want to be like, oh, reselling is more fun. So, you know, do it backwards. Uh, experiment early. And then if you fail, uh, the the universities are not going to are not going to are not going to leave. So there's always going to be there, but the opportunity of learning the reselling, uh, I think is, is now, um, we're still in the middle of that transition, you know, even eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, all this new platform are emerging. So I'd say just get a hang of it. And if you like it, go for it. And the funny thing is, um, so I also recorded this, but so I was invited to be a guest, lecturer at my uh, local university <laughs> Sorry, Glenn. And I did <laughs> so I did a presentation and then I did a Q&A for the class so I did record it I am working on the editing 
Um, it is a long Q and A from college students, um, and I will put it on the channel, and you guys can uh, listen to my advice to them. So yeah. it's kind of uh, interesting. <laughs> since I am kind of anti-college, even though I have a degree and degree has helped me, but everyone's situation is different. So I'll try to get that on there and kind of interested to see what uh, people think about it. It's totally different from other things we've done on the channel. So talking to a college class. Um, all right. I think we're done. Uh, we're actually over. Uh, somebody, somebody has a really good advice. Okay, go a rich wife. <laughs> There we go. That's from Joe Mart. There we go. Find a rich wife. All right. <laughs> that uh, is advice for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's your advice. Um, so, yeah, go on and get it can also apply to that. Um, yes. So, there you go. All right. We're going to next Wednesday. We should still have a live show. I don't know why we wouldn't, but I'll let you guys know. And we'll see what we do. And, um, yeah, go on and get it. Peace.